right, cross cart fans, today is rear suspension cleanup day. Now, I'm just giving you a hint. Uh, this side is the new style, this side is the crappy style. Now, I was just putting together the rear end to get the geometry right, and I always intended to visit it a second time. I do that throughout my build just so I can lock in my ideas and how I want to approach uh, a certain aspect of it. And you can see it, it turned out phenomenal. It's better than these two tabs, it's gonna be a lot tighter and it's gonna be a lot stronger. So let's get this buttoned up. We'll do the other side and put the shocks on. All right, so here's a closer look at the brackets. They're just two inch, 3 16 thick. Uh, they come in long pieces. Uh, I was going off the distance between these bolts, which is six inches. Um, and honestly, I only had a 27 and a half inch piece left over. So I just divided it by four, and those are my distance. Or else I probably just would have put them at six. But this is gonna help with some camber gain. Uh, it's gonna help with just suspension geometry. So I'm not too concerned about a, a quarter inch spacing. Uh, these are drilled out for half inch holes, because these are half inch bolts for the half inch himes. So I'll cut these off, put these on, too easy. A lot of you guys wonder why I don't laser cut stuff. These only took maybe 10 minutes each to make. Uh, that's less time than it takes to design one in CAD or sheet metal or whatever you're using. I draw up a simple plan. Uh, I measure five eighths in, five eighths in, tap it, drill it, and then I just come up with a cool shape. I make one of these to master to replicate four pieces. Also on the list is trimming these ends. Now, I made them long in case you put big, massive tires on here, it just look better. But these hang out a little too far for my taste, so I'm gonna trim them uh, maybe an inch or two and bring that in a little bit. All right, so now that the A arms, are, or the trailing arms, are finished, we're gonna get this back on its front suspension and we're gonna set the ride height. All right, I've got it set at uh, just a little over a half a degree tilted forward to compensate for the sag from the weight of the engine. Us redoing the rear verticals for the motor mount uprights changed our shock location so we got to cut these tabs off and realign our rear suspension now i thought and it's still not too late to do it as an official trailing arm setup have the springs facing backwards and that way i can run stiffer springs and get more travel oh that's tough man that would look cool but we'll see how this works for now if anything, if it's too soft, we'll fix it. Let's do it. Perfect. 